Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here. Welcome to episode number 13 of my Arsenal Let's Play. Today we have a game against Manchester United and Wolves maybe. I want to get start back to recording these as game after game and a lot of episodes like my lower league management one, Bar City is. But of course with a bigger club, with Arsenal. Uh, so here we're going to... We still have Juru. I'm trying to sell him but no one... Okay, there's only yeah, there's only loan offer or interest. Who knows? But anyway, we'll just accept that. Just leave it how it was. That's basically what uh, Valentino Lazaro. I could sign for free. I'll get another scout report on him. We'll see if we sign him. They offer him a new deal. I reckon it'll be. I'll oh, wait till he gets here. I'll wait till a scout report. But I will show. I will say there's interest from me, as he may not. Yeah, look to accept. Um, nah, I'll just do no comment. Uh, what I was going to do is my five players that join, I was going to set them with the, if I didn't, yeah, I can't remember if I did or not. Nah, I didn't set them with uh, instructions for their training. So what I'm going to do here, usually I just go to the coach report and see the suggested focus and it's tackling for Maximilian Arnold, but he's attacking midfielder. So I probably wouldn't do that. Uh, I'll probably improve his dribbling. His dribbling is only 10, so... Uh, that's looking to be improved. And then next up is uh, Jeremy Toljan, who is going to be replaced, really, uh, Monreal. Monreal left, so he's going to come in, and he's a wonder kid. Uh, potentially be a star. Look at that wonder kid description. He's going to be yeah, fantastic. I'm just going to work on his tackling, I suppose, because it's only 12. Need to improve that to a high level, and he'll be a superstar. Uh, Toljan. And then we signed Dennis Prey. Uh, fairly cheap. It was like 2 million or something. Well, 1.7 million. He wasn't wanted by Antelect. And, uh, yeah, we were able to sign him for a free. But to, I think, to, I can't even remember. It was a free to get him, but then I got him right away. You know, like, buy it now. But I can't remember if that was it or I just bought him on transfer list or something. But anyway, I'm not sure what's the best role for him to work on. I mean, like, what can I improve with him? I'm just still thinking about it. May I'm thinking about balance. Leave in your comments. I'll do it for now. But what do you, not passing, sorry. What do you think balance affects? Like what does it affect? Like does it help you when you're dribbling or sprinting or Yeah, just leave your thoughts. Uh then Wolfgang Huma, who is just a under twenty one, so but he's sixteen as well. I just put him straight in the under eighteens and then my head of youth development will set his training up. And then there is uh, Dijan Stianovic, who's going to be our reserve goalkeeper now. He's going to yeah, gonna come in as a reserve keeper. He's a decent player currently for Premier League sides, and he has potential to be a leading Premier League goalkeeper. So I reckon that's perfect for a backup. He looks... He's like this. He's the general backup for me. He looks great. Uh, for a backup, then I'll just do handling. Looks really great. So what I will do now is drop... Uh, Lupas just into the reserve, like under 21s. But I'll take him off that position then, and then he should, then he should make his way over. Because we have a good big, yeah, big game against Manchester United. Let's see what his report like. Yeah, three star potential ability to be a leading player. Like leading, like leading potential is if you can get him on a free transfer. I reckon that's good enough. I reckon you should do that. Just give him, uh, yeah, give him a bit of goal bonus there. And yeah, drop in your comments if you want to see this more consistently. If you do, yeah, if there is a good response, I will. But it's all about what I what I enjoy. And you know, from my videos, I enjoy Arsenal. Okay, Road, what's his problem? I'm prepared to give you a chance in the first team. I believe I've said it to them. I've said it to him already once like that. Uh, but who knows? You can see Monreal is, yeah, he's going to leave to Valencia. As we have a very important game coming up against Manchester United. Yeah, you see Valencia sign Monreal. I reckon that's a yeah, positive signing. You've got to watch out for Rooney, of course. No, I was going to say, should I try and win the FA Cup? The FA Cup, it's a pretty big competition. I'll definitely do my best, but we are against Man United. I 
Odegaard, who's this guy? Yeah, I don't know, Magna. Arsenal rake in record transfer income. That's really good. Look at that. Look how much I've got in from transfers. It's been a successful season. If you look at it that way. Look at all these players coming out. Of 56 million altogether. You got Monreal for 12.12 or 12.25 million. And then just this Maitland Niles for 2.4 million. Then Arteta under a million. Coquelin, 4.4 million. Chesney, 24 million. And yeah, a couple others. Oliver Giroud, 10 million, and Park Ji Yong Flamini, just around a million each. So, uh, yeah, it's been good. And we've bought, tw yeah, we got we had to sell 92 million coming in. You need to sell on 46 million. You know, so leave your thoughts on that. Players going out. Of course, uh, Ter Stegen coming in was, some people thought it was a bit controversial uh, getting him instead of uh, Chesney. Like, selling Chesney was a bit controversial, but Ter Stegen is a good goalkeeper for me. Of course, join Barcelona in real life. But yeah, as I said, he's been quality player for me. Uh, who's this guy? Salili for Bayern Munich. Yeah, we've already signed someone at left back, so it is all good. McGath could leave Fulham and go where I don't know. Let's see my contract. When's my contract until? Uh, yeah, 2017. So, he did two more seasons. My winning percentage is 70%. I think that's good. I don't know. <laughs> uh, we'll set this up here. Set up the team. Got to make sure. Now, I put, yeah, Dijan Stankovic or whatever his name is. Uh, Stavanovic, that's his name. And we've got to put in a solid team to get a win here. I'm not sure if I should bring in a start, like a new signing. But I could. Maximilian Arnold could make his debut. Uh, Jeremy Toljan as well. I'm just going to put him in. Some big signings. Dennis Prade as well. I reckon he needs some under-21 games though. Well, apparently he doesn't need it. If you see him there. Well, it's 71% condition. Um, I'm just thinking here. Bakri Sanya. When is his contract? Yeah, 20, he's actually got interest from Lyon. Very interesting, that is. But... I'm still thinking. I'm going to play Podolski instead of Diego Costa in striking position. And uh, Thomas Vermaelen will come in for Doria. Yeah, we have a good mix on the bench there. Simeone not in. Okay, I'm happy. My I'm really improving the quality of my team as we go by, so I'm really happy with that. And yeah, let's go in against Manchester United. Uh, Stianovic, just give, nah, I'll just give him a higher number, like a 24, and Toljan will be like a 7, and Maximilian Arnold, just like 17, it does it's not, numbers are not too important, unless they already have a preferred number, yeah, it's not going to be too important, uh, their midfield doesn't look that great, Benega, Cleverly, and Darren Fletcher, we should look to dominate, I reckon, even at the back, Santon, Smalling, Jones, and Raphael, it's okay, but nothing too special. So here we'll go assertive and say go out there and impress everyone and see how we go. So yeah, I would like your feedback if you do want to see the more games per episode. And I like doing it in 2D as well because I can up I love when I can upload the episodes quick because I hate just sitting there waiting. It's very annoying. <laughs> Cause when I play in 3D, it's longer, like it takes an hour to upload compared to 2D, like 10 minutes or less, which is crazy. And that's playing multiple games, if I do. But here, watch out for Welbeck. He had a close chance. But actually, in this episode, I'm going to just do the one. I'm just, I just thought about. I'm just going to do the one against Manchester United uh, here because I did the. I covered those transfers, and let's just see how long is this has gone right now. Yeah, ten minutes. That's what I mean. I don't want it to be too long. Normally, I'd want to get into games right away unless there's some transfer news, and then I could get through games fairly quickly. So yeah, but I had to cover some transfer news. And normally I'll have the team selected already and then he'll you know, go straight in. But yeah, for now it'll just be this game. But look, Arnold, can he score? Ooh, he looks positive. He looks positive. Very good start by him. Another German, of course, in the club, in the team. I'm not sure if he can be good as Ozil, but we'll find out. Yanazai, he's looking for a run. 
Oh, Walcott, what a tackle. He's not renowned for tackling, definitely, but he made it there and did well. Uh, but yeah, like I said, I'll just cover this game. I was going to try and do two, but uh, yeah, I had to cover transfers. I forgot. But yes, I'm quite, you're checking him out here. Arnold, uh, Toljan, a couple of quality players uh, getting an appearance here. Uh, new signings coming into the team. They look good. Got to be careful here, though. Got to be careful. Oh, well done, Toljan. He forced Yanazai into a low percentage chance right there. Well done. But we need to score. We need to score. Come on. Hasn't been bad half, but I'll say it's bad. Like assertive and far from pleased, and it gets a good reaction. You say you're far from pleased, and look, every play gets fired up, even though I'm happy with how we played. Didn't really look like conceding, and we probably look like scoring. But I've got to be careful here. Cleverly, Yanazai. What can I do about that? Darren Fletcher scoring a goal. Not sure how realistic that is, but <laughs> anyway. I'm not sure. Is he still playing in real life? Is he retired yet? or Because he's had like problems, I know. But anyway, might move to attacking. Let's go attacking and fluid. Regardless, whatever happens here. Go Toljan. Ozil! The combination of the German. Toljan and Ozil. Still, Ozil's fairly young himself. Or he's not an old player. That's what I mean. But look at that Toljan. The wonder kid on his debut. Against Manchester United as well. Away from home. Spot on cross for Ozil. So the, the two combined well. Now let's go for the win. I'll still stick to that. They're going on. Yeah, attacking and fluid. Let's see if that can win us the game. And you saw Sanya had interest for Leon. Do you think we should try and sell him? I don't know. Because we don't really have another, but... I've got to be careful. Cleverly. And Cleverly scored. He's shit. Nah, come on. <laughs> Darren Fletcher and Cleverly scored. Oh, <laughs> wow. I just think it's funny now. <laughs> And yeah, it's the FA Cup. I don't really. I just want to win the league. I don't really care about the FA Cup. Come on, Özil. Maximilian Arnold, Toljan again. Look at the German combination. Oh, just give it away. Come on, you got to be better than that. You got to be better. Welbeck. Good defending, but you can't just give the ball like that, Arnold, or you'll quickly find yourself out of the team. We haven't been horrible, but like I said, FA Cup is about uh, giving chances to other players. Like, I don't really care about FA Cup, as I said before. It's more about winning the league this season. We're in a position to win the league. And yeah, these kind of cups, I'll give games to young players like Toljan and uh, Maximilian Arnold, who we signed. Because now Ozil gets injured. Oh, I didn't make a sub. What the... F what is in my head? What am I thinking? Why didn't I make a sub? I would have took him off, but... See, that's um, sometimes when I'm making a video, I don't think properly... Fuck. Hopefully it's not a long-term injury. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Hopefully it's not a long-term injury or I'm going to go crazy. I have a chair next to me ready to throw. Will that get me a lot of viewers? Who knows? I probably have to show my face. And show me breaking it. But anyway, tackle. Uh, come on, Toljan. Oh, good. He's lucky. He could have got a yellow card, but it's over. Let's pray it's not a long-term injury. I'm far from pleased, though. I should be thinking. I don't even know why I didn't even make a sub. Sometimes the time gets past me or something. Like, I don't realize how fast it goes or whatever. I get into the game. Let's pray. What is it? Please not be long for... Oh, yeah, it's only two weeks. Nah, that's all right. As long as, like, not three months or something, that's all good. And we're not any, not in any cup competition. That's all good because I'm four points in the lead, in the league. Come on, Arsenal for the league. We're looking odds on for it now. 
come on. Got some important game. Like, Capital One Cup, I don't really care against Wolves. Like, I don't care if I lose against Wolves as well. And then we've got some important games in the league that I'm going to probably be focusing more on. But anyway, yeah, starting from the next episode, that's when I'll start to record a bit more. Uh, I just wanted to get, yeah, back into Arsenal slowly, slowly, because uh, I didn't upload it for a while. But, yeah, I'm, I'll get back into it. Don't worry. So, yeah, just drop a like if you enjoyed it, even though we lost. It's not about winning FA Cup. It's about winning the league this season. Look at that. We'll look at winning the league. Four points ahead. Come on, Arsenal. Let's go. We're getting uh, our chance here this season to win the league. So we'll see what we can do. Yeah, drop a like for how well we're doing in the league, leading by four points, and then there's massive gap. So if we can knock out Tottenham or if Tottenham just drop points, yeah, we'll be even more odds on. So, yeah, it's looking pretty good. So I'll see you guys next time.